hi guys welcome back to my channel let's get started so the first thing I'm gonna do is sew on my frontal on my um, wig cap now I use T pin to um, hold on the frontal that way it doesn't move then I'm using a curved needle with black what you call it nylon thread I think it is if you get it at Sally's this is the first time I've ever sewn in a hair with my long ass nails so yeah and I did go ahead and already plucked my frontal so yep I didn't bleach it as yet though because I wanted to wash the hair at the same time I bleached it just yep so I'm just going to continue sewing on my frontal then I'm going to start with my bundles my longest track I think it's 22, 22 I think I have 22, 20 and 18 with a 16 frontal 16 inch frontal I believe now I don't know but for some reason I do not like sewing in like the first three rows yeah it sucks and I go ahead and use a T pin to help me secure the um, other side of the hair but yeah I do not like it one bit but as long as I pass the first three rows I'm Gucci you feel me I'm Gucci so I'm just gonna do the flip over method and to continue go back and forth back and forth with my track even though it was a bumpy ride as I said I hate doing the first three rows and this is a hair that I purchased off Amazon it's Brazilian body wave here I got three bundles with a closure I wanted to dye it red but time was out the essence so I couldn't go ahead and do it so I just rock it black and Probably further down the line, I will dye it. And if I do dye it, I'll go ahead and make a video to show you guys if you're interested. So, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and just sew my bundles in. So, guys, my arm hurts, so I go upside down, back and around, whatever, whatever. Listen, honey, listen. The struggle is real. So yeah, so I just continue to sew the bundles in. When I reach at the top, I start going from side to side. Then I curve it a bit. Then I start going side to side again and fill up the gaps. And yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of video on YouTube because I've watched several and that's how I learned how to make my wig. This might, it might not be the best, but you know, still try. So I just wanna share my experience with you guys okay so yeah i'm at the almost top now so i'm just gonna go back and forth with my same fold over method however for the last bundle i went ahead and do a single track i didn't double it because like the first two bundles they were um doubled but the last bundle i didn't um bundle it and right here my thread got messed up so i just tied and cut it start right over yeah Honestly, this goes to help. So I get off work at 3 o'clock. I'm lying. So I reach, I get off work at 2 to get home at 3. And from 3 o'clock to around 11 o'clock, it took me that much power to finish up my hair. Yep. The struggle is real, honey. And then my ring light was getting so hot. So I got to pause and I'm tired and I'm hungry. Then I was cooking dinner and all of that. So, yeah. <laughs> So yes, I'm just going to continue sewing my bundles. And once I'm finished um, putting, well, once I'm finished sewing on my bundles, I'm going to go ahead and cut that access um, wig cap from the wig cap, of course. <laughs> I'm going to cut it off. I get nervous when I do it over. Voice over. <laughs> I am a nervous person. So yeah, I'm just going to knot my thread. And then tight, well, tight, not the same thing. Oh my god, this one I'm great. But yeah, so I'm just gonna remove my T pins and then cut that excess fabric off, basically. Cut it, cut it, cut it. The fabric will choose not to follow. Cut it, hey. 
But I am only six, so don't pay me no what, okay? So yes, I'm just showing you guys the hairline and the power and all of that shows it. Then I'm going to go ahead and bleach my knot. So I use the 40 developer with the BW2 powder. I use two scoop and two scoop of the 40 deliver the love up the love up and I mix it real well not too watery but I make it really thick so I'm just gonna place it all over the lace frontal trying not to press too hard because I don't want it to bleed through and I'm just gonna wrap it in foil paper now I'm gonna use this purple shimmery light shampoo and then I have my uh, what you call it fabric dye um, I think this shade is in um, caramel but yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and put the blue shampoo on there for a couple minutes then I get some water on the um, in the microwave and I'm gonna wash that out then you see it looks almost there and whatnot yeah I'm so proud of myself I didn't let the bleach go under here so now I'm gonna put the spot um, the hair dye the clothing dye and the blue shampoo guy I put two scoops of the red dye. I should have put one or a half a cup because this was way too dark for me. But you know what? I made it work and whatnot. So yeah. So I just placed that in the water for a couple of minutes, like five minutes. And I took it out, rinse it out, then wash it with shampoo and conditioner. When I'm done with that, I put it back on my mannequin head to blow dry. But first, I am going to use a heat protectant. So yeah, I'm gonna spray it all over here and get my blow dryer ready with my brush and just brush and dry. I actually burned my um, brush. I didn't know it melts until I finished everything. But yeah, at the front part was so easy to blow dry. Like oh, but the rest of the hair, the bundles were hard. Yeah, so this is how it looked on my head right now. Again, the notch is a little bit darker, but it's again I made it work and whatnot so after this i went ahead and cut the knot well cut the lace and then apply my wig so yeah that's it you guys have a wonderful day and i hope you come back and watch another video of me